Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR. Sorry that uh, we haven't been around for the past week uh, between Father's Day and life and uh, me in my travels to the land of orange, or as Mac sarcastically refers to it as the land of tangerine. OK, that's a that's a throwback to uh, Tennessee volunteers colors of being orange and white. When you go down there, all you see is Tennessee stuff and it's all orange and white down there, even though the trees are in full bloom and whatnot. Anyways, on to the topic here. This past week, I had a conversation and I I have to keep the specifics of the conversation uh, kind of general. But I made an observation and 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 I was reminded of the situation we find ourselves in when we're dealing with people on the left. Uh, this was a three party conversation. Me, uh, I'm uh, also a, a subscriber of ours and uh, and and a, a liberal and he approached us and basically accused us of uh, reading Fox News and uh, he 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 brought it up and, and, and a lot of times uh you know i'm i'm hesitant to poke at a liberal but when they poke at me i am more than willing to poke back and i will share the degree of my poking back here and and sharing this story mac is going to hear these details for the first time as uh, you the viewer are hearing this and and his accusation of uh me and my friend, my friend and I being Fox News supporters, which, by the way, ever since the 2020 election, I have not watched Fox News much at all, perhaps a little bit on YouTube. But well, as far just, as, so, just you, know, I hadn't told you this, but I was also uh, we were also accused of getting our information from Fox News and, and Newsmax. And I said, sorry just to disappoint you, man, but I haven't watched. I don't have cable. I don't watch any news. And and, you know, I've been pretty if, for, for those who regularly watch us already know that my favorite websites are the right scoop, which, yeah, they kind of parrot Fox News a little bit. But uh, the my favorite websites are the uh, the right scoop and the Gateway Pundit and the Gateway Pundit are no fans of Fox. Well, not okay. to dig into your story, but I would have asked this person who made the comment on, on one of our pages somewhere. I don't know if it was Gab or wherever it was, but uh, so what do you watch? You're watching CNN oh. and MSNBC. Well, it was very well, why obvious. Is that right? Going to going to the details of our conversation, it became immediately clear what he was watching as he began to parrot the talking points that you one might hear on MSNBC or, or CNN. Uh, and and it kind of began with you guys uh, uh, at Fox News are editing all that video of what I'm going to call the meanderer in chief, if you yeah, know what I mean. Fake. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, the latest being when uh, Obama grabbed Biden by the wrist to get him the heck off the stage because he froze in place. Oh, we edited that. And that and that and that accusation is how. Well, they, you they, saw what you saw. Well, well, the accusation that Fox News edited it. And here's the thing. And I'll tell you why. Uh, and get, I'll, you know, I watch Dan Bongino a lot, watch and listen to Dan Bongino a lot. So Dan Bongino had had the, you know, the, the footage seen in news. And then he had amateur uh, cell phone recording. You know how you got your Android right, or, yeah. or smartphone? Everybody, everybody records everything. Yep, that's right. Everybody records everything. Well, he came. He was able to get a get a hold of some amateur recording, and he played it side by side to show that the news clip had not been edited at all. Well, yeah, but Terry, we all know that Dan Bongino edited those. Oh well. Well, here's you know, what I would. Here's my first thing I would tell that guy: everything you see on TV and on YouTube is edited. Our videos yeah. are edited. It, being edited doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it untrue. And besides, it's not being falsified. Edited is a is the wrong term for what they're trying to accuse uh, these people of. 
this debate had just begun. And he made the comment of, uh, he said something, and I have made up my mind that when I hear this, the gloves are coming off because I've pretty much had it with these people. He made the comment, he's picking the lesser of two evils. Okay, so you know, so what? You know, so what if uh, the meanderer in chief meanders? He's still the lesser of two evils, and that's when I, I and I, and I'll, I will confess, I blew a gasket because I immediately shot back at him. Oh, so you're going to vote for the guy who took a shower with his teenage daughter? And I said, is that how you define the lesser of two evils? And the guy went into meltdown mode. Of course. My friend, well, that's there. Fake. I suppose that's fake, too. And, and, and I even said I and then I said to him, you know, no one made her write that in her diary. You know, that's right. how we even know it is his drug addicted daughter wrote in her own diary that he was taking showers with her and 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 felt that that contributed to her <sighs> perverted sex life. OK, but uh, anyways, uh. And, and and then I, you know, then you take into account, uh, you know, he's got his drug addicted son. We're talking about an administration where cocaine was found in the White House in a secure area that that even visitors can't even get into, really. And and here's the kicker about the cocaine. They don't think it was for Hunter. Well, if it's not for Hunter, who the heck was it for? You know, I mean, what do we got going on in this place? And he's good. And and this guy's going to tell me he's picking the lesser of two evils. You see what I'm saying here. All right, I, I've been to the White House. You, you, you aren't getting shit in there unless you're well, uh, unless you get a free pass. I was barraging him with so much of this, as you can see, as you can hear from what I'm saying now. I, it, he, he was he was backing up. His hands literally went to his head and said, I got to leave. And he literally ran off to some safe space, most likely. You're dealing with someone who's not mentally mature. Well, as as my friend and I sat there and observed, we we looked at each other and said, there it is. He's drank the Kool-Aid. He's off the deep end. And I'm going to tell you this right now. There's no reasoning with this person or someone like this person, you know, and and he is he is hell bent certain that when Trump's in office, he's going to get he's going to get put in prison because he threw that out also. And I said, Oh, like they're not trying to put Trump in prison now. Like they don't have the J sixers in prison already. Like they're going after the alternate electors in Arizona and Michigan. Oh, which by by the way, I don't know if you heard, but in Nevada, a judge threw that out. I know. I was just getting ready to say those alternate electors, uh, I, I, Nevada or Arizona, I, you know what, whichever state, they threw that out. So, so now it's just Michigan. Thank you. What Joycelyn Benson or whatever, who, no, whatever that's her our name. Secretary State. it's, it's Dana Nessel, our, uh, drunk, drunken, uh, state attorney general. She's the attorney general. She's a, the first thing you got to know about her. She's a lesbian, which just as far as I'm concerned, none of my business, but they got to tell you. Well, as as he as he ran away with his hands to his head, because I was just hitting him with too much uh, truth, right? I, I, and and as I was talking to my friend, I said, "You can't reason with that." I said, "That's that's the moral of this story," and and we're supposed to reach across the aisle and blah blah blah. You know what? Yeah, you know? the only reason to reach across the aisle is to slap the shit out of him. Dan Bongino's also said something else too. He goes, he goes, when you debate someone like this, you already know you're not going to change their mind. He goes, but you're going to do it for the sake of a third party because someone else who's teetering on the fence might hear the exchange and go, wow, that guy's got a point. Well, I, it, you know? it sounds to me like you did a good job. You, you didn't, uh, you didn't lose your temper. You didn't become unreasonable. You didn't, you didn't name call. Because that's all they've got in their little basket. Well, when he said, and, and, I've, and I've, I've made up my mind, I made my mind up on this some time ago. When I hear someone say, I'm picking the lesser of two evils. Well, w- let's just discuss the definition of lesser of two evils here. Right. You know, I'm, I've, I've so had it with the nonsense. And so I, I, I might have taken it a step further. So you're, you're all for putting your political prisoners in jail. 
you know, I just uh, are you not your political prisoners, but your p- political opponents. Anyone who doesn't agree with you needs to go to the gulag. Is that what you're saying? And you go around calling people Nazis and fascists. Well, I was just compelled to share this conversation with our listeners and 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 you know, to just uh, I would I would encourage our subscribers and listeners if you hear anyone say, "Well, I'm picking the lesser of two evils," call them out as to yeah. their definition of lesser of two evils because right. I sure am. I've I've had my fill of that nonsense. I really yep. have. I really I yeah, and and you know what you you <laughs> I did explode a little bit because I'm sick of hearing lesser of two evils. Well, you know, it's it's a it's a catchphrase. It doesn't mean anything to them. They 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 have no substance. So, and uh, that's all I got. I, I was just compelled to share this. All so, right. uh, any 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 final thoughts or anything? No, it's it's an exercise in futility. Try, unless you're doing what Ban, Bongino said, which is. For the sake of the third party or anyone who might hear, but otherwise, I think I think we're done talking to these people. I think it's time to uh, take the next step. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, as I calm down here, because I even got myself a little worked up, uh, we'll call this one a wrap. Thanks everyone for your support. Uh, sorry it's been a week, but uh, we're back now. We're back. We're we're back at it. As is uh, Max. Uh, uh, dog there on, on his end. <laughs> Chloe. Yeah. All right, Chloe. All right. Uh, as always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.